Hey Lions friends, we've got a new story for you today. This one, the title is How to Catch a Star. The author and illustrator is Oliver Jeffers. Let me show you a picture of Oliver. Oh my goodness, look at him. He was probably, what do you think, two, maybe three, when that picture was taken. But he grew up to be a first class writer and a wonderful illustrator. What I love about his illustrations are they're very simple, but they catch your eye and your imagination. And what else I like about them is I think you can do them too. I think you could be the first class illustrator. Look at this little boy. His tiny little stick legs, that's all he has. A striped shirt. Two tiny dots for eyes. A long nose. And a star and a rocket ship. Pay close attention to his illustrations. Oh, and to his trees. I really think you could do this as well. Let's get started. How to catch a star. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed of how this star would be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. The next day, he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. So he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and ate lunch. And waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still way out of his reach. He thought he might lasso the star with a life preserver from his father's boat. But it was much too heavy for him to carry. If only he could fly up in a spaceship and just grab the star but the only spaceship he owned was made of paper and it didn't fly well at all. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky and reach his star, but the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. The boy worried he would never catch a star just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish it out with his hands, but when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. 
Now the boy was sad. But in his heart, the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly, he began walking home. And that's when he saw it. Washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star. A star of his very own. Wasn't that wonderful? What did he catch? A star fish. Something new that he had not even thought about. And that's what happened. He was looking in the wrong direction. It's always fun to look up in the sky, but sometimes when you go for a walk, you never know what you're gonna find. Did you enjoy this book? I sure did. Let's look again at his pictures. I really think you could do it. He's such a simple little drawing. There's two things that I loved also, besides the boy, is the rocket ship. It's just an upside down, kind of a curvy letter V. Close it at the bottom. Two fins, like a fish. This looks like an eyeball to me. And a checkerboard at the bottom. I bet you can draw that. And then look at his simple trees. There's the trunk, a few limbs, a round circle like a lollipop. But look inside the tree. They're squares. And I bet the illustrator, what's his name again? Oliver Jeffers, I bet he used watercolors. You could draw the boy with your crayon, fill it in with watercolors. You could draw the tree, maybe with a crayon trunk, and do it with watercolors. Go give it a shot, and then when we, when we get back together, bring it all in. I wanna see your artwork. So awesome. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.